Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Chamili Devi Institute of Pharmacy. In today's session, we are going to learn about synthesis of chloramphenicol. Okay, before doing the synthesis, we will just do a brief introduction of chloramphenicol. As we know that Chloramphenicol is an antibiotic useful for the treatment of a number of bacterial infections. This includes use as an eye ointment to treat conjunctivitis by mouth or by injection into a vein. It is used to treat meningitis, plague, cholera and typhoid fever. Chloramphenicol was discovered after being isolated from streptomyces Venezuela in 1947. Its chemical structure was identified and it was first synthesized in 1949. Chloramphenicol acts by inhibiting protein synthesis. It binds reversibly to the 50S ribosomal subunit and prevents peptide bond formation. Okay, now moving towards the synthesis. The synthesis of chloramphenicol will require the starting material para nitroacetophenol. Here we have phenyl group, nitro group, acetyl group. So we get para nitroacetophenol. Now further we have to do bromination means reaction with bromine. Here one molecule of hydrogen will be removed by one bromine molecule in the form of HBr and one bromine will be added on CH3. So we will get a new intermediate, a bromine derivative. Now further we will get para-nitrophenyl-acyl bromide. This will be the bromine derivative. Now, further we have to react with hexamine. What is hexamine? CH2 whole 6 N4. Hexamine reaction is carried out in presence of HCl in alcohol that is ethyl alcohol. Now, what happens? What we want to do is we want to do the substitution at bromine because further reaction will be carried out with amino group. So, bromine position we have to add a amino group. So, we get alpha amino para nitroacetophenone. This is a new intermediate. Since alpha carbon is having amino group, so alpha amino para nitro acetophenone. Moving further, we have to do addition of acetyl group by acetylation. So, CH3CO whole twice CO, this is acetic acid. A new intermediate will be formed. What happens? The hydrogen of NH2 will be replaced and form CH3COO and will be removed. Then what we get is para nitro acetamido acetophenol. Now moving further, now we have to do the reaction with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde is what? HCHO. Now, NHCO, CH3 will remain, but the CH2, the hydrogen will have to, we have to add the alcohol molecule. So, in presence of sodium carbonate, we get the intermediate. Now, we have to do the reduction of the ketone group. The reduction will be carried out with aluminium isopropyl alcohol. So, what happens? The keto group changes to alcoholic group. This forms, we get a mixture of dextro and levo form. 
Now, what we have to do, we have to obtain a base structure of chloramphenicol. So, moving further, the dextro and levo mixture isomers, we will carry out the acid hydrolysis. Now, we have to obtain the base of chloramphenicol. So, we have to do the acid hydrolysis with HCl and there will be removal of CH3COCl that is acetyl chloride and we will get base structure. Now a base is a mixture of dextro and levo form so we have to do the resolution. In this step we have to do the resolution and carried out a reaction with dichloromethyl acetate that is Cl2 CH COO CH3. So with this we will get a required chloramphenicol molecule. This is chloramphenicol. This is how we do the synthesis of chloramphenicol. Thank you.